All right, this is your ball game right here. I'm not good at these. We getting all, God damn it. Let's get it. We made niggas put them rose bottles up. We made the whole city boss they like fuck. Boss they like fuck. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush. Bitch, we made niggas. You know we love to stunt. Stunt. We made niggas put them rose bottles up. We made the whole city boss they like fuck. Boss they like fuck. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush. Bitch, we made niggas. You know we love to stunt. Stunt. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush. Now it's Nari and Shine. Ryan with Don Michael when we sitting on shine. Yeah, bitch, this a white tee, this East Laurent. Yeah, how you like that? Told my plug, give me 50, came right back. Now the whole hood jumping like some jumping jacks. Yeah, I love rats, plus I got cheese. Got white bitches, Puerto Rican, Japanese. Rolling green peas, we call it Cali Best. Play stupid, get hot ones, see your flesh. In the coop, bout to put the dash to the What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. John Eads back with you. Be sure to like the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. We're over 900 on our way to 1,000. Appreciate all the support you guys have given recently. It's meant the world to me, and we're just uh, having fun with it and keeping it rolling. We got a rivalry game today on the road against Georgia, a 3 and 4 team. They're struggling this year. We're struggling too, you could say, but we're hanging on. So we just got to keep stacking wins and try to get back into this playoff picture. Today's would mean a lot in that regard. We have some visits. Um, or guys that already have visited that we're recruiting that are this week at Georgia. So maybe if we put on a show, they will say to hell with the Bulldogs and come on and play for the good guys there in uh, downtown Atlanta. So it's a big game today. We won our last game against Arkansas, 43-26 after it glitched out the first time. Ended up getting to finish the game and ended up winning the game, which was nice. But we still don't have that like marquee win yet against like a ranked team that is still a ranked team. We'll look more at the schedule in a few minutes. But this would be a really nice stamp, I guess, in our resume if we can go on the road again for the second year in a row because of the scheduling stuff of switching the conferences and beating Georgia and putting them at 3-5 and five and doing it in front of some big-time recruits that we hope to bring in. So that's the goal for today. we got a few things to look at before we get into the gameplay, so let's get right into it. All right, so here are the guys that are visiting Georgia this week. we got Aaron Henderson, who's a five-star receiver. He came in. Um, a week or two ago, and now he's off to Georgia for this game. So a guy that we're definitely in there for. We're actually leading in his recruitment. So you think if we go there, we win, we play well, maybe he'll just commit because nobody else is really involved here. Then the other guy here is Eric Mayfield. He's got a ton of visits. Already came to Atlanta. He's got Georgia today as well. Georgia State in uh, about four weeks, and then Florida. We're in second behind Georgia State, and Georgia's way, way behind. So... Perhaps we can earn a commitment with a win here. It seems like it might be an us and Georgia State race to the end, but you know what? We're just going to go out there, let it rip, and hopefully get the W, and we'll see where the chips may fall. If you missed the last game, we had another school record, so Chris Grant sets his second Georgia Tech rushing record. Last year, he had 21 touchdowns in a single season, um, set that record, and then last game, he set the school record with 47 career touchdowns. Unfortunately, it was kind of... Like, it was a touchdown animation, and it kind of got glitched out, so he didn't really... He got, like, literally one second of screen time with the graphic, but I just wanted to give him his fair share of the spotlight because 47 touchdowns is a lot, and while he may not be a superstar for us this year, he's been a real consistent member of our team and a, a valued guy for the past couple of seasons. So he's just going to keep building on that, too. He's probably going to be touching 60 by the time we hit the end of the season. All right, looking at Georgia, their quarterback is dual threat. Um, I think we played against him last year. I could be wrong about that, uh, but he's really nothing crazy. But, you know, the sliders we play on, every quarterback's going to be good against us. Running backs, looks like they got two of them. Balanced, I suppose, more power guys. Receivers are trash, to be honest with you. I mean, at least from an overall standpoint, they got good speed, um, being here at least, and Stevens too. But, I mean, overall, yikes. I mean, what a that guy's a senior, too. Like, whew. Really good tight ends here. I feel like George has always got good tight ends. Real life and video game. Um, so three of them that could all start definitely at pretty much any <laughs> on any team in America. Oh, boy. Look at this. Their left tackle, 67 overall. Oh, 60. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, bro. All right, there's no way that he's going to be starting this 44 overall guy because they could probably just slide someone over that's like a right guard or something. But 
Wow, I mean, if he doesn't play, they, their, their center's 44 overall. I'm probably better than that. Yikes, they're really thin. I don't really know if they're gonna have a guy that can step in there. I guess it'd have to be that backup right guard or one of these two guys. So their offensive line is looking terrible and we're gonna have to really send some pressure today. All right, with that said, their linebackers are studs. 91, 90, 92. Woo, wee, that's a unit. Okay, Lee's picking us in this game. Uh, you know, we're better on paper. They're, they're just very average at everything. Common opponents here. Um, Tennessee, they got blown out. We've also both played Arkansas, and we both won. So not much to gather here. Here's our schedule. I was talking about this a little bit earlier. We don't have a good win. Like, the teams we've beat, 4-3, and 0-7, oh 0-7. Four and three, like the best opponent we've played. Now we should have won these two games. Definitely that one. Um, we need a good win. These stats tell me that the running back's good. Seven per carry, about 100 per game. But passing game is nothing. For us, Edwards is lighting it up, but he's also throwing way too many picks. So decision making, we're still working on that. Grant, you know, eh. Nelson's been hot lately. Seven for 205 last game. They can't cover him. So I'm hoping that continues because we were just playing darts last game, essentially. So let's go, man. We need this W. Rivalry game, road test. A loss eliminates us from anything we want to do this year for SEC aspirations and the college football playoffs. So let's go take care of business again. Got him, one-on-one. -on -one. Andrew Harrell, the true freshman, again, man. Man, he's having a hell of a freshman season. He's gonna be a stud. Wow, this guy is so fast. 37, he's already got two sacks. Wow. I mean, that's not me. That ball's gotta come out quick, but I got, like, no time to sit back there and try to make something happen. I mean, that's just insane, really. Ah, oh, that was a bad throw. Never throw it across the middle late. And that's why sacks kill us. They put us behind the chains. We force throws. That's all 37 on that drive, man. That's been the difference all season. You know, it's first and 10. They're bringing a blitz. We got a chance to hit them deep, and we can't. Said they get a sack. All right, what was key in us winning last year was holding teams to field goals. We got to do that today. Draw. Ah! Oh, you got to make that tackle, man. Nothing you can do there. Perfect call. He's just got to make this tackle. That's an All-American. Thomas has been very underwhelming this season. Got him. All right, Robinson. All right, two downs to get 20 yards. Let's go. First catch for Nelson. Uh-oh. Burns his corner. Nobody in sight. And he scored. Nobody's hotter in college football right now than Tommy Nelson. I wish our guys could play zone coverage. There's no reason why he should be wide open like that. It was three deep safeties. He's just sitting there picking his nose. All right, come on, let's pot one here. I wasn't on camera for any of that, but the touchdown still stands. Maybe I should do that every time. Let's go, bro. We found a treasure, put gang on the map. He gave you my number, I'll give you my snap. You be for my brother, I can't give you that. Running this race is my third overlap. All right, let's get a stop. Haven't got one yet. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Whose guy is that? Seriously. Who 
whose guy is that? It's man-to-man defense. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be one of those games, bro. Oh, we got blockers. Uh-oh, could be a big play. If Grant was any faster, that's a touchdown. I got no time. Yep, knew it as soon as it came out of my hands. I didn't even see that guy. Again, a sack and then immediately after a pick. That's how it always goes for us. You just can't get beat like that, bro. All right, two minutes. Let's just go down, score a touchdown, slow the game down, and get back in it, all right? Come on, man. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Brown got off. Finally. Thank you for making a throw. Got to hit him deep. Got to take advantage of these plays here. There it is. That's where we're at our best, man. I wish Nelson was fast, but we'll take that. Where did he come from? He's not even in the play. This is the worst season I've ever played. Seriously. No, sir! That was not the throw. His check down was wide open for a first down. You should not win any football game where your quarterback and your team is minus three turnovers, man. There it is. Good catch, AJ. Let's go, man. Nice. Wow, he just got that off in time and a dot to Livingston. Timing route. Look at Brown catching it in stride inside the five. Yes. Edwards in. Somehow we're only down a touchdown despite playing an absolutely atrocious half of football. All right, we got to set the tempo with a stop, come back and tie it up. Contain him. There you go, man, Mark Rhodes. That's why he's Drip of the Day guy last episode, man. Right there, nice job. Burley can't cover, but he can hit. Gotta hit him. Ah! We're not doing much wrong defensively. They're just making plays. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a stop today. That's on me. Should have kept that outside. It would have been an easy first down. Get there. Oh my goodness. When he got pushed back, I was like, nope. Yep, not this time, brother. Good block. Get that first down. Oh. Nice. Well blocked. Grant in for the touchdown. Building on his school record, and we're back within six. Let's go. They ran it. It's all right, though. It's all right, though. Bruh. 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 All right, third and three, man. Let's go. We're not going to get it. Oh, 
We blitzed. All right, we get the stop here. They get a field goal. We got to score quick. We still got our timeouts. That's that's how we're playing this one. Come out, ball! Good sack. All right, timeout. That may have put him out of field goal range. Well, that's nice, at least. <laughs> I mean... All right, onside kick. We need it. All right, this is your ball game right here. I'm not good at these. That does it. Break it down, Edwards, a lot of yards, but three picks and sacked five times. Usually when those two things happen, we don't win. Running game was, you know, as it's been all season, a non-factor. Nelson, another big game, 182 and a touchdown. Robinson also pretty good, but Nelson's really just, he's taken the wide receiver one title and just absolutely taken off with it. Defensively, we're just awful. Not much pressure. Granted, they didn't pass the ball much. No deflections, no picks, no forced fumbles, no plays. And that's how it's been all year. Only way we get stops, really, is by turnovers. If we don't get any turnovers or sacks, we're screwed. We get him to third down, can't get him off the field. Um, McCutcheon with a touchdown return again today for 106. All right, team stats, really an even game. It really was. Offense put up the same numbers. We were efficient on third and fourth down. We got to the red zone a lot. This is the difference in the game right here. This number three. Minus three in turnovers. If we buy one back, we might win this game. If we don't turn it over one more time, we'd probably win the game. Because, what, we, we threw picks. They came down, and I think they scored on every single one of those interceptions. All right, another loss. We're now 5-3. and three. Probably going to be outside the top 25, and that effectively ends our SEC title hopes and our college football playoff hopes. Again, this is our third season at Georgia Tech. We have been to the playoff zero times. But we play on the hard sliders. We didn't play well, and that's why we're losing games. You're minus three in turnovers. I said it at halftime. You're not going to win a football game. It's not going to happen. We just we, we were behind by a possession the whole game. Couldn't get it back. Defense couldn't get a stop. They didn't get a single stop in the second half. So it doesn't matter what you do on offense, you are not coming back. And we didn't come back. Rough season just continues. Excellence is the standard. And five and three, at best nine and three, not meeting the standard. Please like the video, sub to the channel, and... Come back for the next one. And I also suck at this video game right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching. All right, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.